Hey, what's up, uh, Dominic? So, uh, shit. hey, what's up? Emilio here, Human 991, aka Vecta. I'm gonna do a little tutorial here on free step. Uh, probably mostly free step and shuffle, just whatever, whatever I show you guys, you know, in the comments below or whatever you decide to do, direct message me, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some things that you might, uh, want help on and to further improve your dancing ability. Okay, uh, Dominic, so when you're doing the running man, you want to have it where, so start out here, when you do it, don't heel flick, because I know it is what you're doing, I can't really do it because I'm so good at doing the running man now, but I notice a lot of people do this when they're learning the running man, or just, you know, shuffling in general, but don't, don't heel flick, don't. Don't do that. What you want to do, you know, start out like this. Make sure you have like a V shape and you're parallel. Your, your legs are even with each other and you're always parallel. And what you do, remember there's two hops and I'm pretty sure you already know that. It's like two foot scoots. It's like, so here's one and then here's two. Well, this foot, when you do it, to avoid heel flicking, what you want to do is you want to imagine as if you're trying to like knee yourself in the stomach. So it's like you bring it forward, and then here's the so here's how the, the foot's aligned in the middle. Now when you the next step is you firmly make sure it kind of goes straight, so it's in a V shape. You you want you, when you do the running man, you want it to be completely on the ground. You don't want it to be halfway up. You want it to be completely on the ground. And I normally what I use is I use the, the palms of my feet for it. It's a lot easier for me. Some people will do it differently. So when you do the running man, make sure right here it goes down firmly like this and that you have like a V shape. You don't have to raise it as high as me. Notice how I'm keeping my legs parallel and even the whole time. That's what you want to do when you're doing the running back. You want to keep them parallel and you want to firmly have it on the ground. You just want to have it firmly like that. And making sure that when you scoot, that your the half step is always going to look like this. And then the full step is down like that all at once, same time, same motion. Here's one, two. That to be done simultaneously. If it's not done simultaneously, you're gonna have problems. And it's okay, you know, you're new at this, so. But you might get it down quicker than I did. You might get it down longer than me. It's just so one, two, one, Two. One. Two. Remember, bring this up. Bring it forward and step in. You want to step in as much as you can. Make sure that it go your your leg sticks out when you do it. So just be like. So it's almost like you're running. You know, you want to. Imagine as you're trying to run, you know, that's why they call it the running man. And you know, when you're running, you're not, you're not running like this, you know, your feet are going forward the whole time, you know? 
think of it like that. Um, so that's what you want to focus on is solidifying the basis of your ground. You want to, you kind of have to just imagine like you're trying to dig in the ground with your feet. It's kind of like as if you're stomping or you're like kicking into it. And it's okay if you look down too, like that helps. But, you know, try lower BPM music. That will definitely help you progress into shuffling and dancing in general. You know, if something's too fast for you. But, you know, don't let me discourage you to think that you can't pick up on something quick because everybody learns and, and picks up on things at a different pace. But I do recommend that you do the running man. You want to get the flow down? So you can do it without thinking about it.